Hey, this is Raju Datla again. Uh, eventually, this whole series probably will be combined into one for everybody to get all the information at once. But at this point, health series I decided to do right now, 11 part, which I said could be more than that, depending on what other things come up. I will be, you know, obviously producing those, but I wanted to keep in small chunks so people could digest. That's the reason I've been doing this in different, different chunks, smaller chunks, 10, 10 minutes or so, or less, maybe it could be more depends on the information I have to share. So third in the series is habits, how important habits are to sticking to your health. So one of the things I've learned is whether it's health or uh, wealth, financial freedom, job, whatever it is, your habits dictate. So there's a saying, you know, I'll go, you know, one of the favorite quotes is be careful of your thoughts because your thoughts become actions. Be careful of your actions because your actions become your habit. Be careful of your habits because your act your habits become your character. And be careful of your character because your character determines your destiny. Right? Same thing in anything you do. Your habits dictate where you go. That's why I came, started with why and what to mindset to habits now. Because without the thoughts, the habits won't form. And without the habits, all the stuff I'm going to share is useless, right? One of the things I've learned is habits. You don't start big with habits. You don't go like, you know, I'm going to do this big thing and that's going to start my journey. That doesn't work because you'll quit as soon as the first failure comes, which is again, going back to mindset, thought process, all that stuff, right? Going back to that. I'll kind of give you my habits right now. And many people think I'm extreme, right? And the point I'll go, I'll make of that is I didn't get there like that, like today, you know, I thought yesterday and became that today. So here's my habits in health, right? I've been doing this almost now, uh, almost a year, I think, close to a year. Yeah. Every week, Sunday evening, I start my fasting after I eat my meal that day, right? And it goes on till Tuesday morning, water only, nothing else. And I work out. It's not like I'm not working out. So both days, Monday and Tuesday, I have heavy workouts or whatever the workout schedule is because I vary the workouts. And that's my end of my 38 to 40 hour fasting. It's 36 hours, but technically I ended around 38 to 40 hours. That's the average I go to. And then every day I do 20 hour fasting. So I only eat between three to four hours or three and a half to four hours. Usually it's less than four hours, three and a half hours. And between that time, I have like a juice with starting breaking my fast. And then I get into, uh, you know, the food I eat within that three and a half hour time frame. And then nothing else, right? Next day again, same thing, you know, so on and so forth. And if somebody was trying to get healthy or do the same thing as me, just like that, like tomorrow. Heck no way they can do 36, 40 hours fasting. It takes time to build that. How did I start? It didn't start with 36 hours. It started with 12 hours first, 12 to 14 hours, right? I started with that, you know, a few weeks just, you know, stopped eating at 6 p.m. in night or 7 p.m., whatever. And next morning, 8 a.m. or something, I had my, at that time, coffee or whatever, right? When I was drinking coffee, I don't drink coffee anymore. And then the habits build. And then I moved on to 14, 15 hours, then 16 hours. And then I did 16, 16 hours and 18 hours feeding uh, for... I don't know, several months before I moved on to maybe 18 hours. Maybe actually a year later, maybe I moved on to 18 hours. And then I shifted to 20 hours now. And then I got into 36 hours every week. 
when I tried first 24 hours and then it was easy. I mean, it came in, it was not too bad. Then I decided 36 hours, which is called monk, monk fasting. The point I hear I'm trying to make is don't go after big, big goals. Build that muscle, small goals. Go after maybe 10 hours first. If, you know, constantly eating and you can do the 12 hours, even go after 10 hours, right? Nine hours, eight hours, whatever. And then slowly move it. So build that muscle or build that habit. There are several books that describe this. One of the things is how important habits are. Habits believe in like overrule your memory. Somebody who lost, I forgot which book I've read. Somebody who lost their memory completely, short-term memory, right? They are, yeah, basically short-term memory. I forgot it might be long-term memory too, but anyway, uh, they forget. But once they formed a habit, regardless of the memory, they did it automatically. And that's the point. If you create habits that override any temptations, any roadblocks you come across, and it takes time to build habit. You know, there's sayings like 21 days. 21 days to create a habit probably is more to like get your mind around the habit comfortable enough. But really, I feel like it takes 90 to six months, at least six months, I would say, to really firm, make that habit firm. I would say exercising for me, it took me years to really start it being ingrained in my system that I couldn't do without exercising, that I don't, I can't do any without exercising now versus I mean, force myself to exercise every day before. Same thing with the food. Once it became a habit, like coffee, quitting your coffee. Oh, the first two, three weeks I quit coffee it was horrible. I couldn't. Because I, I was a coffee addict. But I forced myself to stick to it. And then after two, three weeks, the idea became comfortable. I still wasn't like fully on board. And, and you know, within two, three months later, then it became a habit at that point. Like I don't need coffee anymore. And that doesn't mean that I still don't enjoy the smell of coffee or I would want to drink coffee. So I switched to kind of decaf. I do drink, drink decaf now. Um, but I don't need coffee to wake up. That's the critical point. Before I thought my mind was I needed coffee to wake up. So going back to habits, formulating habits is important. Setting up small steps in creating habits and taking time is important. And don't try to do all habits at once. Like, you know, health-wise, you can do food, schedule, or uh, exercise schedule all at once. I'm going to do everything at once. No, that's not going to work. When you set up small goals, it builds your confidence and belief in yourself. So set up small, small steps in habit forming and build that confidence in yourself, belief in yourself. When you do that, then you'll be able to do bigger, bigger things. If you haven't read Atomic Habits, that's a great book to read on how small habits can grow into bigger, bigger ones slowly. So that's the thing, right? Take time to build those habits. And habits will dictate how you, you know, live your healthy life. No matter what. Right. And then you can change habits based on what's working for you, what's not working for you, so on and so forth, till you have a concrete schedule. So for me, I don't have to think twice. Everything is like scheduled for me. Like it's a habit, right? What I eat, it's already planned ahead for me. So I don't have to think that day, like, oh, what am I going to eat? What am I going to do? So on and so forth. Now that seem that might seem like oh, that's not spontaneous. I'm a spontaneous person. No, nobody is spontaneous. You do a lot of things scheduled, like time you get up in the morning, how you take a shower, or what do you do during the shower, or what do you do when you brush your teeth, whatever. Right? There's so many things are 
habitual for everyone, no matter what. No matter the story you made up that you're a spontaneous person. No, 90% of the things or more than that are habitual. It's a habit. We have created a system within our living, everyday living. And we just follow that automatically. It's an automatic. We don't even think about it. We don't even know freaking what we, what we did. For example, you know, I take a shower, especially when I take a hair wash. You know, I have a system where I got to do it twice, wash my hair twice, right? I forget the first time I did it. Like, oh, did I wash it first again? So that's how automatic our, you know, syst systems are that we don't even know what we did, even though we did it like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> so that's where it's critical. Like once you create that habit, then you can carry on, right? Then you can like create bigger, bigger habits. Start with small, then go bigger, 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 on and on, right? But again, going back to the episodes one and two, starts with the why and what, then to the mindset, then to the habits. We'll get on to other stuff like about health and how to maintain your health. Uh, because it, it's a whole holistic system, again, unlike other people teaching hey, this food, that food, ex this exercise, that exercise to be in the peak physical condition. All those are true, but in my opinion, based on the results I've gotten and having tried all kinds of different options, it's a 360 thing. So habits is number three, in my opinion. I mean, you can vary. I mean, you can start with the habit and then mindset and then why and what, all that stuff. It kind of doesn't matter, you know, doesn't matter. As long as you have all these steps together, you know, kind of created and followed, right? So maybe the sequence doesn't matter for some people, but in my opinion, sequence does matter for you to stick to something. It doesn't matter if it's health or wealth there is similar process. So with that, now, if you liked and this kind of changed your mind and it shifted your thinking, please share this. Or maybe that's there's another person in your life or somebody you know that can think differently and start changing their habits or health. And this is Raju Dattla again. Thanks for listening. Or seeing it on YouTube. If you're on looking, you know, look, you know, watching this on YouTube or whatever other, you know, videos I'm, you know, I might have, you might come across or audios you come, I might come across. Thank you again. Thanks for listening to the episode.